a long time ago in a galaxy, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to skip this because that's going to get me dinged. That's a ding. That, that song is going to get me dinged, all right? Uh, if you didn't know by now, we're playing Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Yeah, this is a throwback. I remember when this came out, getting this uh, for the PS2 and playing the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. It's uh, It was a big game, at least for us at the time. I remember just being like this really like, oh, this is crazy. It's got so many different things you can do. All these different uh, different tools at your disposal and stuff. And it starts with this boss fight. Which is kind of you fight this big bug thing. Okay, it's starting to come back to me already. Feels good in the hands. Good right, he doesn't have his jetpack. You gotta go buy that off of dude. Yeah. Because they got you like pretty Because he's like, how much is he with to you? He's just like, you'll mind. Um, here's a little trivia for you. Do you know who played uh Django? Bobo? Well, I think he needs to play Django. I don't know if he played Bobo. Uh no, I don't really know who it is. I know who you think like the guy's like all the clones and stuff. Yeah. It's like a good guy. I think it's um no relation yeah so I remember playing this as a kid uh, and it being really freaking out like having a really hard time with it yeah I wonder if, if it's gonna be as difficult if it's gonna be as difficult the camera's a little wonky you know like, you got a bit of a camera weirdness just, you know, you just can't, like, it's, it's like, Where am I going and flying all over the place. Oh, yeah, and you can cut these things. Got your laser cutter. Because it was kind of the first game where you get to play as a as a Mandalorian. It was kind of cool and got all these cool gear. Mm-hmm. No, I think that was the sweetest part is that it was all the, the cool Django Fett gear that you get. You yeah. get his... You get, like, the little wire tie wire thing. And all you get his jetpack later on. You get um, flamethrower. Yep. You get his eyes, like his eye, like Terminator eyesight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did I go through the wrong door? I don't know. I think you were going the right way. I think you just gotta go through the door ahead of you. But how? Oh, maybe not. Okay. I think there's like something we gotta like jump up to, or there's like a grave I'm done. or something. I'm done. I'm done. This game fucking sucks. This is bullshit. Oh, yeah, here, here we, we go. go. I remember there's like a lot of this. Like the level traversal is kind of like it's got this. I don't know, like Splinter Cell kind of vibe to it. Like you gotta gotta find little roots around, and mm -hmm. sneak around a bit. I think the reason we were really into this though was uh, because. We love the Hitman games. Yeah, yeah. And it was kind of like that same idea because it does have the quality. Like once you get into the game, you can just kind of scan random NPCs and some of them will have bounties and you can kind of capture them better alive and shit. It had that feel. Yeah, exactly. Like I think there's a part where you get to go to uh, like Cloud City. Yeah, or something close to it. Oh, so you just... Okay. Oh. Overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. I'm sure this was a huge inspiration on, uh, like, the Jedi games with uh, the Shameless Kid. The Shameless Kid, yeah. Because those games are pretty much just grabbing pipes and climbing around and shit. I think that kid grabs a lot of pipe. That kid grabs a lot of pipe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you got this old crotchety curmudgeon slut. Oh, you Diana. Press square to mark. Right, he's your bounty. Oh, I gotta mark him. Yeah. Okay. Press R2 to equip scanner. There we there go. There's this. Burbacher Teep. Oh, yeah. Man, well, you've already got him. We might as well capture him alive. He's a lot, a lot more money alive. I'm worth mean, enough dead. I was about to say, yeah, there's the classic cutscene where it goes, I, I'm worth more alive. And he's like, you're worth enough dead. Yeah, I think that's like the Glub Shido character or whatever is gonna come into it. There's a couple. There's a lot. There's of a lot of Glub Shidos in this game. game. You know what I'm saying? Well, even that guy, like Burkhart. He's got to get his own series soon enough. 
Teep. Teep starring Kevin Hart. Paul Giamatti as Teep. You know, making it through the galaxies these days isn't as easy as one might think. Especially with a bounty on your head. I got the Empire. Thing is, I'm innocent. Yeah, I know. They all say that. Thing is, I'm I telling really the am. truth. <laughs> You know him as the background character in the Bounty Hunter game. <laughs> He's now coming to your living room on Disney Plus this November. Star Wars Teep. It takes place in between Clo oh. Clone Wars Episode 4 and uh, the pod racing video game. It takes place in between those two. There's about an hour where Kwai Conjurin takes a shit, and we don't know what the fuck was happening in the other room. And Burbaker, Ke Burbaker Teep was up to some shit. He was holding it down. He actually was the guy who came up with the name Death Star before they wanted to call it. Well, that's uh, his big claim to fame. That's he, he. Yeah, he gives Anakin the name Death Star. He's just like, hey, Anakin. Imagine if there was like a big thing the size of a moon. I could blow up a planet. We maybe I don't know. I'm just flinging around ideas. Maybe like you know, you know, Teep. That's pretty good. Galactic Ball wasn't working out no how. Is this like? I think Death Star is a much you, better name. You can use that. You can have that. You can use that. Oh, some Greedos. Who shot first? Who shot first? It was me. I was an AC. Does not like you. My friend does not like you. I don't like you. Jeez, okay. Just trying to sit in the cantina, have a fucking drink. I don't care if you like me. That's my favorite part in all the Family Guy ones is where it's just like, yeah, thank you. We're uh, we're the cantina band. Anybody play the same, song, play same song? Okay, play the same song. Play the same song. Where are we going now? Okay, let's see here. Think about it. It's okay. not that door. It's this door. That's where I came from. But you gotta go up. Go up the... Do I got a Nathan Drake on that yeah, pole? Yeah, you gotta swing up the poles. Get up. This is gonna be so much different when I can fucking jetpack my jetpack. Oh, once you got the jetpack, you're... Uh... You laugh. A little OP. Game becomes a little uh, redundant once you get the jetpack. I remember there's so many like sound effects from this game, like when he gets the little health thing and he goes like <gasps> Right. Just like that. And then it's just like, it's like, oh my god, my, that's my child right there. But I'll tell you right now, like, I mean, I'm a bad gamer by today's standards, so you can only imagine me when I was like eight years old. I was terrible. Um, and I could never, I don't, I could get past this level, I think. I think we, like, could always at least make it to the worth enough dead guy. And then we could track him, capture him, or you gotta, like, kind of trail him around the little fucking slum city. Oh, yeah, there's, like, these guys. I just remember this game just being so fucking mind-blowing. Just, like, like, just kind of coming in here and just, like, just, like, the lore and everything. Oh, it's this little fight ring, and they got these... They're starving these fucking things. Well, and I think angry. another thing that was cool about it, um, was... Well, you gotta blow that next to it, right? Oh, I can blow. Oh, you gotta, you gotta be really far away from those things to not to hit you. What is that even telling me? What does that do? What, is, what did you pick up? The knife. Get the knife. Get the knife. I remember there's a Mike Matei sketch where he plays the new, uh, or like stream where he plays the new ghouls and goblins. Mm -hmm. And somebody was like, get the knife. He's like, yep, yeah, get the knife. All right, let's get that out of the way right now. All right? Like, yeah, just Mike Matei. What happened between those guys? Did he like screw his wife or something? I really don't know. I think Mike had it in his head that he was like ready to go to Twitch and just take off and really make something and stop being 
the nerds fucking game beater. <laughs> and uh and James was just like, We gotta make another video on Nintendogs or something. He's like, Oh my god, like I, I need to do fucking this, do man. something. Like I need to do something with my life. I'm good at video games. This is not the place. And I don't know. James is still fucking trugging on. I saw this video he did. He did some fucking mobile game. I, I couldn't get two minutes into the video. It was just like, this is just, he's too old. But um, he's lost so much hair now. I saw somebody post a funny meme, and it was just like, he looks like the RoboCop when he takes his helmet off. Like <laughs> That's true. You That's know what exactly I mean? Yeah, what it is like he's got that kind head, of, like, yeah. like he's got a cowl on the back of his head, kind of. He's done that already, I think, though, the RoboCop hair. He did RoboNerd ages ago, back when he had hair. Now he doesn't need the the fucking rubber cowl. Yeah. He just has it naturally. It's his hairdo. Do you think there's anybody whose favorite band is Rex Viper? James Roll. <laughs> and then the other members. And the other the members. members. Maybe just him and the singer. I think the rest of the people would rather fucking die. And yeah. Just have people recognize him as the guy from Rex Viper. Yeah. I think they're all quite accomplished musicians, at least. Well, I don't know about accomplished, but they're probably. Like, I think they are. I think, think they. That? I think that deep down they are accomplished musicians. They're just like it's just a shit show of a project, because it's just like think about yourself. Like I mean, whether you guys know this out there or not, me and Alex, you know, we make a little music ourselves. We're we're music guys. Yeah. And I just think like you know I'm good enough on the guitar, and if like some dude who you know wasn't as much of a band guy but had the clout was like hey you want to come join my band like we already got seven shows lined up i'm gonna pay you this much money you just got to play the songs out you know i was like yeah okay first studio gig i've ever gotten and then you go do this fucking thing and then next thing you know everybody's just like rex viper shit guitar players out of tune do it it's like but just think about like put yourself in the shoes of being that guy like showing up and James is there, and you gotta fucking like smell everybody at the Comic Con, and like you're used to playing at bars and at least like getting a little strange and shit. You know what I mean? Am I making sense? You're making. I'm just kind of saying that it's like language. I feel like these guys need a little bit of the benefit of the doubt that they were forced to fucking play the theme song from Pilot Wings and in and, and, and play it for a bunch of men at a comic convention, like. These guys wanted to be rock stars one day, you know, and I think like they're trying their fucking best. But I think it's at the end of the day, it's it's uh, it's just James. He's just he, the guy's like anti cool. Like he's just his whole career has been built on being the nerd. Like I mean, it's just own it. You can't just switch and hightail and th think people are gonna think you're fucking James Dio now. Yeah. How we doing here? All right. I figured it out. Here it is. The iconic scene. Freeze, don't shoot. Nah, this isn't it. Unless that's what you were talking about. <laughs> oh, this is like a uh, escort thing. I think you have to escort this guy because we have to like. Well, he, yeah. Can't let him die. I think this part's mm. really annoying. Are you? I, I don't think, think it's an escort mission, but I think like that was the end of this mission. I think the next mission is going to start with a video. It's going to be the iconic scene, and then I think we just have to tail him with our gun on him. That's what I call getting some tail. Where's that guy's coughing really loud. My window's closed. That's what I said. I would trip me out. It must be coming from the bathroom right there. Take me and maybe I won't blast you. Okay. Yeah, the guy who the Schwip Magavica and who did the all the voices for Star Wars did came back to do this game. Yeah. yeah you can tell. See you gotta escort this guy. Move you, know, you gotta stay far back and just and just. I'm not taking my blasters off him. Cause yeah, you can't kill him. But I don't think there's anybody who's trying to hunt him. Just stay back. Stay back. Okay. I'll take you to the death stick factory or whatever. Okay, here we go. You don't want to sell death sticks. You want to go home. And I remember these guys too. I think one of them is actually like a bounty too. I think he's a bounty. The CP3PO. Yeah. I don't have time for that. No, no, no. You come back and get these fuckers. The real Ripper legends can get the bounties and do the escort mission. Come on. Hurry up. You're falling too close. They're going to get it. They're going to. I'll go shoot them. He's, he's just leading you to an ambush anyway, but you have to be stay back. All right. Oh, that's the bounty. That's the guy we want. Triple credit. Do you remember who kills that bounty? Thing is, if I was a really smart henchman, 
I'd be like, what's your bounty? <laughs> be like, yeah. Oh, it's this. It's like, well, I'll just kill you and take the bounty myself. Yeah, you just do it st stealthily. Yeah, you just be like, okay, sir, come with me. We'll get you to a safe place. Shoot him. Take it's like you were going to pay me three grand to kill him. You're worth eight. But uh, what if his, his if the familia comes The familia after came after you? Yeah. Well, that's what you do. You blame it on the bounty hunter. Because as far oh, as everybody, can, as far as anybody saw, the bounty hunter was there. So to say the bounty hunter really got smart. him. Next thing you know, you're running. You're the boss. You're running the show. You're running the show. And it's casual Fridays are gonna get. You know, there's gonna be better food in the lunchroom and shit. Mm. Finally, start making some changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Chick's hot. Hey, baby. <laughs> What's the deal with her? Is she human? She's yeah. oh she oh she's human. She's got a bounty, I bet though. That's her. She's trying to seduce me. Look at that fucking uh, run, eh? You got a bounty? She's got the. Uh, you got a bounty? Stay still. Silly run. Oh my god. Yeah. You're running like Kermit you aggroed her. her ball. All right, whatever. She's aggroed. I'll let her live. For now. Where the fuck am I going? There's a lot of these moments. Oh, you gotta hit this thing. See, this was a, like this took me like four hours as a kid. Well, because yeah, like, you're just constantly no like, stuck, the and then you run going. back, and then you're stuck, and you run back, and then I got shoots. Yeah, and you're like, I just want to. Know where to go. Where I don't know where to go. If I get a fucking jetpack in this game, what is this fucking bullshit? Get jet. Oh, now I'm back here. Club show, eh? Yeah. Good level design, though. I think honestly, I think like that was the thing. Like it, it was a unique game. Like it had that kind of like you know these open areas. This guy's got a bounty right here. Yeah, I'll check that little mini me motherfucker. Oh, maybe not him. I think there is one of those fuckers who has it. One of these droids has it. I know one of these droids. Oh, there was one back there. Where? Back there, the middle one. This guy? No, no, no. Get, run up ahead a bit. That this middle, that droid coming at you. That dirty, sick C-3PO. Fuck. There he is. Yeah, good memory. TC-920, 9DO. What did he do? Last known. Uh, Linguists and other protocol droids. Yeah, I just pray. I don't know. Don't, they don't give a region. He contains highly sensitive information concerning the personal oh, affairs of an unnamed politician. Return yeah. or destroy. He's got shitty info. Okay, I gotta mark him first. He's got bad intel. He's he knows about Gerard. Man. He knows all like the open hand information. I want that droid dead. Okay, he knows too much. <laughs> Gotcha. What do you spend? Like, can you even spend the credits on anything? Is yeah, there you like can, a like, store? There is like an upgrade shop or something you can get to or something. I don't know. It might just be points. It might literally just be points. Okay, I think we're on the right track going to the... Going like up... Like the little... Like going to that room where the bounty was. I'm this sure. This somewhere? No. We gotta kind of take the path that. The guy oh, the guy. So he led us down here. Yeah, I think that was our best route. I think there was like another path instead of dropping down. I think we wanna. You go here. Cut through there. You go here. You go there. Straight down and to the left. Whoa! Yeah, I remember it was so cool, like when they were like, "Oh, there's gonna be another bounty hunter coming into the games. It's not Jango. It's not Boba Fett. It's gonna be his dad." Who gets his head cut off? Because neither Boba nor Jango really get that a lot of screen time. No, no. Jango gotta be some of the most iconic characters compared to their screen time ratio. Yeah, like, yeah, like Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Like Hannibal Lecter's in the movie for like five minutes. I would say even like Darth Maul too. Like Darth Maul's really not in the movie that much, but he's so iconic. But at least he gets a big fight. He gets a big fight. 
That's true. And he gets uh, he gets a good kill under his belt. Like I mean, he kills. Yeah, I think off. like he really just fight Django like that one time in Cloud City, and then they kind of just piss off. Well, yeah, I guess yeah, because he like he like shoots the dart. I remember in Clone in the Clone Wars, like he shoots the dart and the girl. Because well, he has like neck. that sidekick that wears like the purple helmet. The like, girl, right? yeah, and like she puts like a spider in his bed or something. Yeah, I think she's <laughs> I think she's in this game. Zar Maybe. Zarbonk, Zarbonk Garfoodle. Yeah, and she fucking fucks around. I think there's a little bit of a romance. There's a little bit of a because that's like this, such like a classic George Lucas thing. Like it's always like you pop a character, like a character shows up in a movie has two lines, and it's like that's all you know about them. But it's like you have to like read a book to realize like they're the like, super integral fucking like yeah. They have like such a huge battle. It's like why wasn't any of this in the movie? It's like oh, just the Lord. no time, no time. Make a character sell some toys and let the fans come up with the lore. It's all just selling toys, man. It's all just selling toys and making money. What up? That was another what fucking uh, podcast that Mike had with Ryan. Was like the peg warmers. No way. Yeah. You're fucking joking. They no, know, they... no way called it the peg warmers. That sounds so gay. Well, because you know what a peg warmer is? Somebody who warms up the peg. Well, it's... it's um. It's like toys that come out that are like really shitty and nobody buys them and they make way too many of them, so they just end up sitting on the peg oh, in the toy store. It's the peg warmer. So that's why their whole they had this whole fucking stupid podcast where they had like I don't know, probably only had like two episodes, but like it was like look at this this is like they pull out like a time look at this club shit out. Like <laughs> I got this for two bucks. Total peg warmer. <laughs> we'll look into it. We'll do some that sounds awesome. on that. that sounds oh, really good. Ryan and Mike is, uh... They, they it's, are a, it's like watching duo. two aliens. Like, it's insane. It's like watching, um... Don Rickles and Ronnie Dangerfield, man. It's just... They're two legends in their fucking prime. Just throwing it back. Holding it down. Talking shit. And it's funny. I don't know. It feels more like... I don't even know. Bill Burr and CK... I don't know. Um, no, I when I hear peg warmer, I think like like I think like a guy. Well, pegging has gotten uh, yeah, that's all it needs to be. Look at that now. No <laughs> oh, here's the here's your scene, man. Pardon me. This is your scene. He looks like a bumblebee. I remember always looking seeing that. He's yeah, because he has like the big chest guy. piece. Think of how much you could haul with it. This guy steals his land speeder. Or it's like cargo fucking shit. What are they? Call that shit. My cargo jumper! What's your favorite ship? Uh, T94. I want my money back! You bought it, pal. It's your problem now. Maybe you could go after him with this jet. What's your favorite ship? The next wing? Like a fucking laser? No, I like the TIE fighters because the bad guys are cooler. That's what I said. You said T90 something. That's what it is. T9, TIE That's what those things are with the with the ball in the middle and the two flat wings on the side? TIE fighter. I just found the thing. Don't shoot me. Take it. I thought you were going for something more fringe or something. No, I was just like I said the first thing that came to mind. Speaking of ships, actually, Django's ship's pretty cool. Django's ship is pretty cool. Doesn't, like, Obi steal it? I think he... Tr no, Obi-Wan tracks him, and that's when he, like, hides behind, like, a meteoroid. Because it's weird. It's that meteorite. one that, like, it kind of, like, it, it, it lands flat on its back, but then it flies almost, like, face forward. Like, it vertically it, flies. Yeah, it looks kind of like a penis. I mean, I think we can all, we're all adults here. I was going to say it looks more like a face. Like, it looks like a floating, like, mask or something. I was going to say it looks like a cervix. I guess we all see different things in the world, and that's okay. Oh, come on, Jang. You got your jetpack now, though. Yeah, well, now then, then now that we're like, we're gonna really fuck it up. It's about as useful as tits on a bowl, this thing. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now we're fucking it up. Now we're fucking some stinky ass. That's a good, that's a good thing. <laughs> Remember in training day when like 
It's like really intense. I'm like, if we get your shit pushed in. It's Tuco Salamanca yeah. from fucking Breaking Bad. He's yeah. like, you ever get your shit pushed, man? Like, I've yeah. had my shit pushed in a few times. I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> it's like these guys. <laughs> Training Day is an Oscar-winning movie, eh? It is. It's a weird one for being an Oscar-winning movie. Like, in my mind, I think it's a good movie, but, like, I put it up there with, like, just any kind of, like... Action. Just action cop movie. Yeah. Like, at that time, like, I don't know what was so Oscar-worthy about it. I just think, like, they really have a hard-on for Denzel. Like, he's good in it. He's fine. But yeah. I don't know. It's just another movie to me. Like, it's like, if that if that's Oscar-worthy, then Out of the Furnace is Oscar-worthy. And well, Killing Them Softly is Oscar-worthy. There's some weird Oscar movies. Like, also, like, Tropic Thunder got a ton of Oscar buzz. Again, like good comedy really but. weird yeah really weird especially seeing as like you know it's become kind of controversial in its time mm. and yeah really weird one the fact that it yeah I don't know the thing about it though is it's kind of got that that air about it and it's kind of like a this is the end or something like it almost seems like like Hollywood was way too in on that movie like there was probably a lot of producers that put a lot of money in it like it was just like this is the movie we're poking fun at ourselves you know it's our little fun movie and, and it was like this Hollywood movie they just poured all this money into it and they were like well damn if we're not going to take home an Oscar yeah maybe have it be remembered maybe 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 that's the thing is it's a good theory. movie it's fucking fun yeah. it is really funny it's really good I'm a big Ben Stiller fan too I always think Ben Stiller is really funny mm -hmm. no all, all of them I like in it I really like all those guys a lot. like Jackbox was like you know, my grade 8 School. It was just, he was my man, my idol. Yes. Which is, I'm really glad like he's made a, like a comeback because there was he's a time there was a time when yeah. I was like kind of afraid he was just gonna exist in that time and be gone. Like, but no, he's and really I like how hung he's, like, on. Really come back with like Tenacious D because Tenacious D is such a great band too. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm about seven Kung Fu Pandas behind, but I hear that they're pretty good. I I've seen the first one or two. I know I've definitely seen the first one. No, I think they're up to four. I honestly think I have seen Am I going the right three. way? Or is this the way I came? I'm lost in Kung Fu Panda over here. I'm not too sure. Lost in Kung Fu I say if you go through a vent that's already cut, you've been here before. Yeah. So. This is the uh, Yeah, this guy's shooting at you. But yeah, you can definitely see like how this like an, like an eight year old playing oh, this would kid just have like trouble. Forget about yeah, it. Yeah, it's like this. Is, forget this. You know what I would love to see though. You know, like there's that sketch of Robot Chicken, and there's like the book that will tell you like anything about your life. Like it's, uh, I think it's Elijah Wood does the sketch, and he's like, he's like, he's like, if I, if you stacked my poo into bricks, it's like it made a wall. How long is that wall? Like you remember, the, you know the sketch I'm talking no, about. No, no, it doesn't ring a bell. And he's like, he's talking to the guy and the angels. Like he's like, you can ask it any question you want. You can see how much happiness you brought into someone's life. And like, right. So it's kind of like when you're dead, you can ask a questions. Like you know. Yeah, but he just keeps asking really like vulgar, ridiculous questions. Oh, okay. But I was like, if that book existed, one thing I would like to know, because I really don't know, is like, what what game did I play the most? What game have I played the most? What game did I put the most hours in? Because I, I really don't know. I don't know what that is. Because I, like, I've never, like, you know how everybody, like, some people, like, they got a game. Like, there's some streamers out there, they do nothing but play that one specific game. Yeah, like, those guys that, like, only have been playing Red Dead Redemption every day for this while, like the like the Witcher and stuff. It's crazy when you go on like Reddit because you go on Reddit and like I always join like game communities kind of like when I'm close to the end or have finished a game, and then it's just kind of like get to go in, see what the community thinks and stuff. But there are people there that are just like this is all they play. Mm -hmm. They just finish the Witcher and start up a new Witcher, or they uh -huh. finish Fallout and start up. A, they don't play anything else. They're so into it. Um. And thank God for them because that's where we get all our walkthroughs and our tricks and tips and all that great stuff from. But, uh, but yeah, you know we're not those kind of people. But we do have games we played a lot. I don't know if I was to take a guess. I mean, the game you think you played the most <sighs> in life? Because like I'm just like a regular ass gamer. 
where like it's just like I, there's games I've gotten into for sure, and I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out. See, this is so stupid because I'm running around the same fucking area. It keeps spawning enemies, and I'm slowly dying. Just but trying you're just to trying to get where, where you want to go. Going. I think I've already been here. Okay, I think we're on the right track though here. And where are these guys coming from? Remember the reviews on the run, guys? I think we want to, yeah, go ahead. Remember the that. reviews on the run, guys? That was always, like, their big critique of games. It's like, and where are these enemies coming from? <laughs> was that a big thing that always went on there? That was always a big critique, like, the one Remember guy Remember it was, had. like, Victor and something? Or, yeah, yeah, Victor and Schlob. Reviews on the run, I love those. I love that show. That was so such a cool show. It was so, it was so neat, because it was before YouTube and all that shit really took off. We were just like, it was like this TV show. It was all the video games. Like, this is the coolest it was pretty, thing ever. It was pretty neat. Um... But yeah, no, I remember like that was always a big critique is like, it, it, like the enemies have to come from somewhere. And it's something ever since I saw that at a young age, I was like, yeah, you know what? Like, where are they? They got to run in from a room or something. Like, how yeah, like, just they, they can't just appear out of nowhere. Right. Um, and I remember God of War was one of the first games I ever noticed that because like a lot of the enemies in that. And it kind of works because it's God of War. But, like they would just kind of like melt or like kind of like rip a portal out of the ground well yeah they're, and like they're demons and myth mythological creatures and stuff but yeah exactly exactly so yeah but the game i think i played the most if i was take a shot in the dark maybe red dead redemption 2 because just like with like online included like online included plus like how much i played the base game it's it probably is the game i played the most if i had to guess yeah, like I think there's games that I've gotten really into and like put a lot of time into, like Baldur's Gate. I probably put like 180 hours into that. Like Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas is what was going to be my answer. Honestly, is probably the game. If like you think about all the DLCs yeah. and and everything, like holy fuck, like just Sierra Madre alone, like holy fuck, I just I scraped that fucker clean, man. Like clean, clean. Oh man, get into that vault, and you're just like, "What am I gonna carry out of here?" Oh, that, we're the best endings ever. I fucking love Sierra Madre. It's so good. Is it? Yeah, it's always my favorite DLC of the the bunch. What? Where the fuck am I going? This happens way too often in this game. Yeah. Well, we're kind of realizing it's like, yeah, these are some maze of level designs, and it's like this is why it was so hard as a kid. No idea where the fuck I'm going. See, now the fucking tutorial for the jetpack has come back on. This is the fucking dude. Oh, you can kill him. Yeah, I think you can kill like everybody. That's awesome. I think I everybody's if killable. I check that. Everybody dies. Guess what? We all end up at the same spot. We all end up at the same fucking. We're all gonna meet him. Hey, oh, we're all gonna meet him. We all meet them. We all gonna meet him. Christ, bro, where the fuck am I going? No, I don't know, man. I'm a little lost myself. Okay, my yeah. mind's just been running a wander with all this nostalgic thoughts and stuff. I don't even know where we are. And it's so stupid because it's like I keep coming back. You're just replaying the level. You oh, I got the flamethrower now. I got the flamethrower, and it's like. And it's good. Yeah, you need um, like a little like if your levels are gonna be like this, you need a little like kind of uh, guy map. coming on, being like, "Go right." <coughs> a map. Yeah, you need a map. Okay, here we go. I think this is. I think you want to get through this pipe system. This. There's a system of pipes. What's this? What's the place where all like the omens live? And, like, under Lindo. Like, uh, the oh, it has a great name. The subterranean killing fields or something. The like. subterranean sh shining 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 grounds. Yeah, shining you got to go through the subterranean shining grounds here. Oh, I hate that fucking part in that Elden Ring. That's probably the angriest I've gotten in Elden Ring when you're on those pipes and there's like fucking gargoyles everywhere. I love. Them. Yeah, it, it well, is. yeah, you love and hate it, but I mean, yeah. like that was like the angriest I got, like just. And then if you fall all the way down, there's fucking like lobsters down at the bottom. That's where you get the shackle, though. That's where you get like Margie's shackle. Pretty sure. Well, Margie's shackle can wait. 
I went to school with Margie Chocolate. He was a nice old Jewish kid. He invited me to his bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah. Never Margie Chocolate. Doesn't that sound? He sounds like he sells linens down <laughs> down on 43rd. Don't buy your linens. You gotta talk to Margie. Go talk to Margie Chocolate. He does good linens. He does good work. I'll go. To, I'll go talk to Margie. No, 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 don't buy your shackles there. Margie Shackle. Mar- no, his name's Margie His name is Char- Margie Shackles. And he sells shackles. He sells shackles. That's it. Why do you need shackles in this day and age? I don't know. Uh, Margie stays open. Him. Margie's open 40 years later. Still open. I have no idea where the fuck I'm uh, going. I know, man. I, I feel your pain. I can offer you no help. I know I'm just trying to keep this interesting as we run around the same area for the eighth time here. I'm keeping I'm keeping <laughs> no, the no, dead air off us here. I'm keeping the dead air off us while we discover here. You vamp. No. I feel like did we get to the shooting range yet? And we got to the shooting range area uh, where all like the targets are coming up I and stuff. Because I feel like that area where you get up top there, like we have to keep going high and then we we gotta like slide down a tube or something. But I already slid slid down the. Yeah, we tube. already did. I think mm-hmm. I already did. Maybe we already did. We'll get there. We'll get there. So now I'm back at the start. Just just keep thinking. Um, you just want to keep always up, o- only up. Yeah, maybe oh, we go only up. Just 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 try to keep going up. Up is the key. Up is the key. There's nothing on the ground for us but like little Vern Troyers and robes and droids. We just gotta keep on going higher and higher. I gotta take it higher. 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 Yeah, with some better map design, this game would be way better. Yeah, yeah, you kind of like lose interest. You're kind of like lost. You're like, okay, like I just want to play some. I just want to play some. Play Barbie some Star Wars here. here. This is, I think, where we want to go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I've been this way. You've been this way, and then this just brings you right back to the subterranean shining grounds there. Yeah, I know. Fuck me, eh? It's, it's like it's like where do you go? Where the Go. What a trash game. Okay. And where does this lead? Is this just back to the start? Because this is this is a tube. You can't go up the tube though. Maybe you gotta go up the tube. I tr- was trying that earlier, but like it, it doesn't work. Did we come down the tube? Is that how we got here? It's like literally the start of the mission. Perhaps. Well, the start of the mission is like where it fucking right the little vendor. Fucks with the vendor. Honestly, this is fucking trash. Literally garbage. We gotta get Austin on this. Who's Austin? He's our, uh... He's, like, kind of like our intern for the channel. And he plays games when we can't and reviews right. them. We just, did we just say that we were the one playing? We, we got Austin to play Bounty Hunt. That's what he had to say about it. Honestly, not that bad. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. Here we go. This is it. This is where I gotta go. Over here. Here we go over here. This is it. Okay. Damn it, I'm back to start. Because I know because the little tutorial thing pops up. Yeah. Alright. The trigger. Just, okay, this is the thing. This is this is how we do it. We just do it all over again. We start at the start. And we... Just make it happen, man. Alright, so you go there. You go here. This guy's just waiting in his land speeder for the next opportunity <laughs> to <laughs> for to run away. some more. Yeah, he's, he's like, just well, like, I could like just geez, get a little father, but, but I'll just wait. I haven't seen that bounty. I haven't seen that bounty. Hunter. We need a nice cutscene here to chase me further through the city. I'll just wait here. All right, so until we're going. he finds how to get the fuck up. So we're going the right way so far, right? Well, yeah, because this is gonna bring us back to that subterranean shining grounds again, right? What if we go through this door? No buttons to press. No buttons to press. Was there like something off to the left there? Like well, the cutaway in the left there? What's over, over there? Here? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been over here. Oh yeah, very familiar with this area. I'm very familiar. Very over familiar. Here. And then you slide down. You jump. Okay. Right. right. 
You with me, sir? Yeah, and then that's the subterranean shining grounds. Oh right. And this Just this big circle. Through. So we're missing like a vent or something. Like, or something. Jeez Louise. There's gonna be like a little fucking hole we gotta cut or something at the end of that pathway or something we're missing. It's so stupid because this leads up here and then you can't get up on top of this pipe. This doesn't go anywhere. This is just lead me back to the. Wait, wait, wait. Do you jump to the other vent? Is there something? Oh, what about there? There. Up there. Up there. Yeah, there's like something there. Okay. Okay. Gotta be very careful. No. Oh, jump up from there. Hooray! Who would have guessed it was such a solution? A unless little this door is that you didn't see. Is this the right way? Why does this have to be such a fucking labyrinth? Now I'm back down here. This is the. F oh my god, damn it. I don't know, man. I really. I'm so fucking lost. I was really, really I was looking forward to playing some more of this, but I just don't know where to fucking go. This is fucked. This is fucked. <laughs> now this is uh, don't you know you know you don't know you don't fucking know you don't get it. This is fucked. This is fucked. Alright, you don't want to fucking bend through. You fucking shot. Fucking don't know. You don't fucking shit. Shut your fucking mouth. This is fucked. <laughs> Alright. I think you jump up here. You go through these balconies. <sighs> Burbaker Teep. Where's Bird Baker <laughs> teeth when you need him? I know. He's just, a guide. He just guides you around. It's like, oh no, you actually just gotta go this way. That's <laughs> funny. I mean, Bird Baker, Bird Baker teeth. On the case. I'm on the case. Do you get up? Do you, maybe you gotta get up here? I think this is like out of bounds. Like, I don't even. Out just of bounds is good. <laughs> Burbaker teeth. This is some Burbaker teeth. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is what kids want to do. This is what kids. They watch the movie and they get fucking pumped. Yep. Well. Can't, can't wait to run around, not see Darth Vader ever. Yep. Well, <laughs> I'm calling it there. There's a bounty hunter for y'all. Yeah, fucking labyrinth, man. Is there any fucking. Is there any, like, fucking... Is there any fucking thing? Like, the guide? Like, can you... Can, is there any fucking... Guide? No. There's no guide. There's no 